My name is Story DeWeese, and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems. And I'm excited to talk to you today about Terraform and the new iOS XE provider that's just been released. So first, let's talk about what we'll cover in this video. We're going to cover what Terraform is, how it works, the new imperative Terraform provider abstracted using RustConf and Yang, and example resources for top features. Then we'll wrap up with a demo. So first of all, you may be asking, why Terraform? Why should we use this tool? So Terraform is a single tool that can be used to configure network and application. As an example, Terraform configures both iOS XE devices, as well as provisions a secure AWS cloud. Um, and this is a virtual private cloud, the VPC network. So we use Terraform to configure an IPsec crypto tunnel between the Cisco Catalyst 9000 and the AWS VPC. We can also provision additional resources within the cloud and on our Cisco device all at the same time. Terraform is a cloud native tooling, meaning that it works well with cloud providers like AWS, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. Now we can use it with physical on-prem infrastructure as well to configure iOS XE devices. So Terraform can orchestrate device provisioning in the cloud, as well as configure devices in a more flexible, consistent, and reliable way. You can also use Cisco vManage or Cisco DNA Center, along with many other features that can be used and configured by Terraform. So what is Terraform? Terraform is an infrastructure as code cloud native tooling that allows network operators to easily view operational data and configure network resources. Additionally, Terraform provides a simple solution for configuring devices programmatically. The Terraform can manage a wide range of systems, including, but definitely not limited, to virtual machines, network devices, and cloud instances. With Cisco iOS XE, we can automate with any tooling on any interface. Since Terraform is cloud native, it also works well with the Cisco iOS XE cloud native solutions spanning across the routing, switching, and wireless pins. Terraform works well with cloud and campus solutions, and it's a tool for building, changing, and versioning infrastructure safely and efficiently. Terraform can manage existing and popular service providers, as well as custom in-house solutions. So what's actually being delivered here? Well, we have abstracted the HashiCorp configuration language, or HCL, into RESTConf. So this means that we can use the same syntax, but now in Terraform. So using Terraform, we still must abide by all of the REST operations, such as git, put, post, patch, delete. And now any feature supported by RESTConf is available within the Terraform provider. Terraform is supported on all iOS XE devices. So in phase one here, we have created an iOS XE Terraform provider, and it's an imperative provider, meaning that it has 100% full coverage on all features. And additionally, as well as the provider itself, we have also created Terraform files for these specific features here in this gray box, as well as their JSON mappings. So in phase two coming up, we will also provide declarative features based on the feedback we get from our GitHub community. So now let's cover some Terraform terminology. Terraform uses an execution plan file, and this is to describe the provider, resources, and essentially the desired state that we're looking for. And so we have our execution plan file built in HCL, which is very similar to JSON, and it's stored with a .tf extension. So for example, terraform.tf. Now let's take an example of what this could actually look like. So this is an example Terraform file. And now let's break it down. We have a provider here, and this is a plugin or essentially a collection of resources that we want to become accessible. So in our case here, our provider is the iOS XE provider and we want to configure this particular device. Next, we have some resources to define what we actually want to do and configure on this device. So here, 
a resource is um, describing something that we want to essentially change or configure. So in the case of iOS XE, we can think about resources as essentially being features that we would like to configure. So in this case, we have a VLAN that we would like to create. And so we're going to put a VLAN here, and this is the RESTConf payload that we have. And afterwards, we can then get all of our VLANs on the device. So now let's get started. The first step is to enable RESTConf on our device. And this is a necessary prerequisite because Terraform is built against the RESTConf interface. Next, we can install Terraform. Then we clone the GitHub repository. And finally, we can go ahead and apply Terraform. So now let's take an example to see what this can actually look like in our environment. So in this case, we have a 9300 switch, and we'll be configuring both an ACL and a VLAN on this switch. So let's take a look at our Terraform file first. There are a few different things going on here. We have our provider, the iOS XE provider, the device that we're going to configure. But the part to focus on here is the resources. So first we have a VLAN 600. So we're going to be adding this VLAN to our device. So let's take a look at our device and see what's currently there. As we can see here, there's no VLAN 600. So we'll be creating this VLAN from scratch. Next, we have an ACL resource. And so here we're going to be configuring ACL 102. And afterwards, we have the list of all the rules that are within this access list. So we can do a similar thing here where we check out what we have configured on our device already. <clears throat> so we have an NAT ACL already configured. And now we're going to add an additional ACL, ACL 102. We can go ahead and turn on the monitor to see what's actually going to happen to our device as we apply our Terraform file. So let's do it. First, we can initialize Terraform using Terraform init. Here we can see that it has been successfully initialized, so we know we're ready to go there. Next, we can run Terraform apply. And I'm going to add this optional flag, auto approve. Next, we can see that we have added two new resources. Also, the monitor shows us some logs about things that have changed on our device. So let's check it out. First, we have a VLAN here that has just been created, VLAN 600. And again, this wasn't here before we actually ran our Terraform apply command. And let's do the same thing for ACL. So before we just had our NAT ACL, and now we have access list extended 102 as well. And this includes all of the rules that are associated with this ACL. So with that, that concludes our demo. Wrapping up, I wanted to first highlight Cisco DevNet. This is a one-stop shop to learn all about not only Terraform, but a lot of other Cisco devices, technologies, and get hands-on experience. So I definitely recommend checking out developer.cisco.com and Cisco DevNet hosts our Terraform provider on GitHub. What did we learn throughout this video? First, we learned what Terraform is. Next, we covered how it works. And then we looked at what's now available, including the imperative provider and abstracting it using RESTConf Yang, as well as some example resources. Finally, we concluded with a demo, and now you're well on your way to becoming a Terraform expert. Congratulations. With that, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and uh, informative. And if you liked what you saw, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, thank you for watching.